Hi there, and welcome back to another edition of Nothing Exceptional. This episode is about Captain Marvel. Which Captain Marvel, you might ask? Why, all of them. Way back in the 1940s, Fawcett Comics came up with Captain Marvel, the character you now know as Shazam. But after a lengthy legal battle with DC, they decided to stop publishing that character, and DC kind of took the rights borrowed it, basically, on a lease basis. Back in the 1960s, however, DC Comics decided they were going to let the trademark lapse on Captain Marvel, and another character appeared who would say, SPLIT! And his whole body would split apart. Fun, wasn't it? That only lasted for, what, one comic? Maybe two? I don't know. Then in the late 60s, Marvel snuck in and they bought the name Captain Marvel. Way to go, DC Comics. It's like they didn't care about the guy that outsold Superman in the 1940s. The guy that outsold Superman in the 1940s? Why would we care about renewing that? That character, the Kree alien, Marvel, lasted about a decade before Marvel Comics killed him off in like 82. And in that same year, they came up with another Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, who, if you watch the Captain Marvel movie, turned out to be the little girl in that. And it was kind of a slap in the face, considering that Monica Rambeau was Captain Marvel way before Carol Danvers became Captain Marvel. Because back in the 70s, Carol Danvers was known as Miss Marvel. It wasn't until a couple years ago that Marvel decided to put that moniker right there on Carol Danvers, making her the new Captain Marvel and fifth one. Now, you might say, well, we already know all that. Well, that's fine and good. And the only reason I'm making this video is because wouldn't it be G. Jiminy Crickets funny if the Shazam movie, the original Captain Marvel, outgrossed Marvel's Captain Marvel movie. I think it'd be funny as heck. Let me know your thoughts on it. Post a comment down below. We'll have a discussion on it. So until next time, be good to each other, kids. This video was sponsored by Super 8 Madison East.